Hello, this is Kelly from Real Pursuit, and today we are working on these library card envelopes. So I had a few uh, library cards, and I thought, let's make these these envelopes. So uh, we'll go ahead and get started. It's really simple. You basically just need uh, two pieces. I did use a uh, manila file folder, so uh, I had these extra ones, so that's it's cardstock and the right color. So that's what I use for that. And the dimensions are, whoop, I gotta get my dimensions. They are, um, you have the back piece and it's five inches by three and a quarter. The front piece is four inches by three and a half inches. The, uh, the um, one of the main differences for this envelope is that the uh, front piece has square corners and the back piece has rounded corners on the top. So I'm just gonna go ahead, I glued this piece down already, the back piece, and I'm gonna take this and just uh, do a C shape. So I'm just gluing the edges on three sides um, like so, and then I'm lining up the bottom and centering it, just like that. And then you can just kind of hold it down, make sure you're not overlapping too much there, and smooth it, smooth it on. Um, another thing that you can do is take um, your distress ink and just kind of go along that edge if you want to emphasize the edge that's totally up to you I like to do that uh, just for a little bit of a difference there so don't forget to round your corners on that back piece before you glue it down and then it does look nice if you use like a pattern floral paper for your background like you might find in a fancy uh, inside of a book cover. So this sort of pattern floral would look really nice also. Small prints, uh, small print florals would kind of uh, add to that. The other thing is uh, I got these um, library, public library cards from a library book that I own. So I just kind of went through my books and I looked for uh, a book that had been a library book. And then I opened it up and they had on the inside, this is where it's it had the stamp here for the, the actual library. And then it had the calling card on here. So this is uh, the Dewey decim decimal, <laughs> decimal number, 759.5 Van Gogh, and then a printed stamp of the library, uh-oh, and then um, some other code that the library used. So if you, you know, you perhaps want to, uh, you know, write your own Dewey number and made up um, uh, author name, or in this case, biography name, uh, you can go ahead and do that. So, and it, it, the handwriting looks really good, or you can go to your printer and just print off, you know, a library like New York Public Library or something along those lines, and that would work too. So, uh, really easy, really simple, straightforward, and I hope you'll, you know, give it a try. It also might be fun to add like a fun stamp to your, uh, the front of your library card. So I'm just going to go ahead and give this one a try, your library card envelope. And then you can kind of add your own little, little flair. One more tip before I go is that you can use cardstock and ledger paper. So let's just say you wanted to take a blank page of letter, uh, cardstock, and then you could put over, uh, you know, ledger paper, which would have a similar kind of look to that or some kind of a form so or you can just you know maybe find one online or print one out yourself so yeah there we go hope you enjoyed this and uh if you liked go ahead and subscribe and 
uh, I usually have videos coming out every other day. And if you're interested, there's a link to my Etsy shop in the description where I have a few junk journal items on sale there. And as always, thanks for coming along and I'll talk to you later.